girlies. How y'all doing? Look at that sun. That's God's sun. You see what God did this morning? He shined upon us. He shined his light upon us this morning. Good morning, loves. Today is one of those days we are starting our first day of second semester of nursing school. So as you can tell my face, I'm trying to keep my composure. <laughs> uh, We're going to get through it, though. We're going to get through it. Morning routine. I'm just showing y'all. Y'all know how to brush your teeth and use mouthwash. That is nothing. It's just I wanted y'all to just see, like, it takes a lot to go inside and give your best and do your best despite of everything that may come against you, despite every challenge, every obstacle that you may go against. But at the end of the day, you have to keep pushing. Somebody at the end of your success is waiting on you. They need you. So you can't give up, y'all. You cannot give up. Keep pushing. And if you need somebody to tell you that because nobody's motivating you, Bree is here to tell you, keep pushing. You can do it. There is nothing on this earth possible that you cannot do according to God's will for your life. Just keep pushing, y'all. Don't y'all just love how the oil just drips down? I've been using this new face serum that I like. It's supposed to help with hyperpigmentation and stuff. As you can see, your girl has really bad hyperpigmentation, but it's okay. It's one of those things. It's just like you know, nobody's perfect. And I use my Anissa Free sunscreen. You always have to make sure you do the two finger thing. Make sure you put on enough sunscreen just to help prevent any new hyperpigmentation that might pop up. Um, I don't think I ever shared, but I do deal with hormonal acne. So as my hormones fluctuate, y'all, I can get bumps randomly. So it's like an ongoing thing. And I'm still working on the fact of not popping my bumps because I don't like no big, fat, juicy bump on my face. <laughs> Pray for your girl. But um, yes, let's get in this head. I know y'all like, what? This ain't bring. But yeah, I skipped past all that and I went straight into my makeup routine. I am a firm believer. How you look is how you feel. So I try to switch it up and do my makeup and stuff. Because when I do my makeup, I just feel phenomenal. I feel unstoppable. It just gives me that extra oomph. And this is the one thing as you're going to see that I get to do for myself throughout the whole day. Every day else, every day else, y'all. Every other day, I am giving myself to everyone else. I am a wife. I am a mother. So I have to constantly give, give, give to others. And it's hard to sometimes prioritize yourself. So it's one of those things that I just love makeup. And I love the way makeup looks on me. So I just place it on. And that's my thing. If it's not your thing, it's just not your thing. But um, yeah, it's my thing. And here goes my khakis, <laughs> my nursing scrubs that we have to wear from my school. 
nothing really too special or unique about it <laughs> and now I have to get my kids ready y'all I kind of wake up at like five just to get myself ready and give myself enough time to get ready and then I have to wake my girls up and get them dressed get their hair done make sure they brush their teeth properly and sometimes I got to get them together because they just be in a daze and I get it. Waking up is hard, but I'm trying to teach my girls to be very responsible and do routine. I'm really big on routine, y'all. And y'all notice that about me. But kids thrive off of routine as well. That teaches them responsibility and teaches them discipline. Like, okay, if I do this, mommy expects me to do this. Mommy expects me to do that. And as they get older, they'll start to notice what works for them and what doesn't work for them and ways to get things done as they become adults, as they become teenagers. I just feel like everybody needs a good routine and we wouldn't be so lazy. <laughs> but that's near here or there. <laughs> Y'all, my babies are so tender-headed. They really don't like me doing their hair, but love how the styles come out at the end. So it's like always a give and take with them. But um, it looks like I'm being rough. Y'all, I'm not really being rough on my babies here. Um, but they're used to it at this point. They're used to the fact that they have to get their hair done. That's just uh, according to our routine. God's son. You see what God did this morning? He shined upon us. He shined his light upon us this morning. That means your purpose, you still got time to complete it. If you woke up this morning, your purpose is still going, baby. You still got time to conquer your dreams. You still got time to do anything that you were born to do. Sometimes the hardest thing is just figuring out what that thing is. But loves, how we feeling? Y'all know what today is? It's it's our first day of school, of second semester. First day of second semester in nursing school. You really made it, y'all. Um, first, I would like to say if you are new here, this channel is all about beauty, vlogs, lifestyle vlogs, and we throw a little bit of nursing in there. It's fun here. It's um, love here. It's inspiration here, empowerment here. So if you want to be here, come on. I already know what I'm getting. I get the same thing every time. Good morning. Thanks for choosing Starbucks. Have a happy today. May I get an ice matcha tea latte? A, a tall. Ice matcha. Okay. And can I get chai in it and brown sugar syrup? And how many pumps of that chai for ya? Three. Three pumps of chai? Sure. And can I also get the bacon sausage egg wrap and that'll be all. Bacon sausage egg wrap. All right, let me check on that bacon sausage wrap real quick and make sure I have it. Okay. All righty. Okay, y'all, I done finished my Starbucks on the way here. I know people gonna start looking at me as people start coming here. I am here early. It is 8.01 currently. My class don't start till nine. Um, I looked on Blackboard. My classes are still not uploaded. So I don't know what my teachers are doing, but um, they need to figure out. So there was no way for me to print off my syllabus 
print off any of my documents before I came into class or the PowerPoints or lecture, it was, it was no way for me to do that before class because Blackboard was not uploaded. Uploaded. No, my courses were not uploaded in Blackboard. It says you currently are not enrolled in any courses, which was confusing. Um, hence, because I get all the emails from my teacher. I know that this class is Med Surge 1 and Care, care of Childbearing Mother. I think they just say OB, but no. So today my class is supposed to be, it's Monday, August 21st, and this class is supposed to be Med Surge. So my Med Surge teacher. <sighs> I've heard good things, I've heard bad things. We gonna take it. What a ring of song. Yeah, this is my little iPad thingy. Like, got my little pencil. So I can have it like a laptop. And then you can kind of turn it around. That's my, what this video is about. But yeah, I'm early. As you can see, it is 8.10. So, I'm gonna go see first, before I start anything, cause I'm gonna go in there at 10. No, not 10, not 10. I'm gonna go in there at um 8.30. I'm at the building already. So I'm gonna go in there because I like to sit in the front of the class because baby, y'all already know I like to talk. So I can't be in the back of the class because I'm gonna hear everybody's conversation and if I agree to the conversation, I'm talking. I'm talking to you. I'm gonna ask you, girl, I love Starbucks. Girl, I love, yeah, I love that type of lip gloss. I'm talking. So to avoid that, distractions because I'm not here to talk. I'm not here to play. I'm not here for all that. I'm here to become an RN and that is the end goal. So I'm trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and stuff. It should have automatically did it for me, but you know what? I ain't got time because it's already 8.15. Well, 8.11. 8.15. Really brief. Okay. And y'all know we got to do our prayer before we walk up in here. I'm going to make sure I link my last um video in this one so y'all can see my first day of first semester i didn't record my first day of first i didn't record my first day of first semester the second time i just kept the video i had that was older and i really didn't tell anybody that i got back into the proper program and all that other stuff but y'all knew i didn't make it like a a known thing i don't know what's going on with my wi-fi now like i um today is one of those days and y'all gonna see in this video i had to get my babies ready like and i'm like y'all today is mommy's first day too like we gotta get up out of the house because they have to be at daycare by seven all they had the um one of my friends from last semester she just texted me wish me a good first day she's so sweet but, um, yeah, that's what I do. Let's read this Bible, y'all. Let's get into the scripture today. I normally, I have an order that I've seen on Facebook on how to read the Bible, just so you can learn Jesus' character and get closer to God in an order, I guess, in an orderly fashion. I love routine, y'all. I thrive off of routine. So I'ma go, I got my Bible nothing aesthetic crazy about it except that I put the little tabs in it on the side of my Bible I put like the tabs for it that was very time consuming watch somebody come sit right next to me you know when you record well I mean only if you record when somebody come park their car right next to you and like what is she doing stay in, my, stay in your own car <laughs> Okay, and I basically, my church, they pass out, like, in the worship guides, they pass out little slips for you to take notes on. So, I kind of, like, the scriptures, I go back 
if I can't think of what I really want to read on, I go back and go read one of those scriptures. So today let's do, oh, okay, that's a good one. Let's do Psalms 27, one through three. I think this one was um, in the note from church, it stated, be confident in the Lord's protection. So let's see what Psalms 27 talking about. I'm just all over the place. Psalms. And I got my uniform on because I have skills class today. So I have skills and I don't know if I can, are you just gonna be able to see my own? Um, there's no, well, I do have my tripod in here. Where I put it. It's under there somewhere. Y'all, I'm I apologize. I'm all over the place. As you can tell, it's my first day. I'm all over. I'm all over the place. Okay, let's go to Psalms. It was Psalms 27. Let's go to it real quick. Yes, I'm one of them. I don't know where everything is by heart. That's why I got tabs. Psalms 27. got it as trust in God in it. It's right there. Trust in God. Okay. Psalms 27. It says one through three of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil doers come to come at me to devour my flesh, these my enemies and foes themselves stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart does not fear. The war be waged against me, even then do I trust. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the Lord's house all of the days of my life. To gaze on the Lord's beauty, to visit his temple, for God will hide me in his shelter in time of trouble. He will conceal me in the cover of his tent and set me high upon a rock. Even now my head is held high above my enemies on every side. I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and chant praise to the Lord. Okay, let's get into it. Usually I would just like annotate like the parts that I feel like I need it. And honestly, right now I feel like I'm in a season where I have no choice. Not saying that I don't want to trust God because it's just, it's hard when you kind of control him. And that's one of the things my flesh tries to do, control the situation. Knowing baby, you ain't got no control over, you think you got control, but you don't. And I have to fight my flesh every day. Well, they say die. You have to kill your flesh every day. And I just pray that I'm able to like really in this season press in to the goodness of God, press in to God's mercy over my life because baby, I wouldn't have not gotten this far without him. I usually like every time before I go into class, before I do anything, I think I've said this I don't know if I said this in previous videos, but I don't do anything without reading my Bible. Like I've nursing school has literally one of those things that just pushed me even more with my faith because I I literally I need the strength. Being a mom, a, I should have said wife first. Being a wife, being a mom, it's hard. And then you want to go to school. That's why normally people do it when they're young. My mind went blank, y'all. But basically from this, the fact that he says, what is said right there? For God will hide you in his shelter in time of trouble. He will conceal me in the cover of his tent and set me high upon a rock that mean while the enemy's trying to come for me 
he gonna pick me up and be like, baby, uh-uh, you right, you can sit right here and I can go handle it. I got you. Don't worry about it. They're gonna talk about you, but guess what? Don't worry about it. They gonna they gonna say things about you, spread rumors about you, but it doesn't matter. I you are my child. It doesn't matter, and that's the thing I feel like we all can get victim to. We care too much what other people think. I am what God says I am. You are what God says you are. You will be what God says you will be. Like, I I think we kind of, in the negativity, we try to eat up. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Baby, yeah, you can't do it by yourself. We can sit here and act like we can. Y'all, let reveal those edges. Woo. And that's what be going. If you are OG, OG subscriber, you know that. Brie, lay them edges, baby. And I sit that thing on until it's time to go in them. But I got a bun today. Oh, everybody. <laughs> everybody looking at me. But yeah. Well, God, I know y'all know that song. What God has for me, it is for me. Okay, okay, tenor. Okay, it wasn't. No. What God has for me, it is for me. They're looking at me. just being as good as you are <laughs> words can't even describe how good great marvelous all the adjectives you are god i just thank you in this vulnerable moment me just recording everything that i record lord i just pray that you touch people's hearts today i pray that you're able to instill that fire that we all need just to keep going to push towards that purpose that you have for us. God, we thank you this morning. God, we love you. We thank you for waking us up because we know that some people didn't wake up this morning and we are not taking that for granted and we thank you in advance for that, Lord. We thank you in advance for all the successes that we have coming. God, and all the failures to just make us learn and teach us the ways that we need to do better, the ways that we need to get the strength from you and God with your Holy Spirit, God. I pray that we press into your Holy Spirit because sometimes we can just try to go and do things ourselves. God, I love you and I thank you and I give you all the glory in Jesus' name, amen. This is gonna be a great semester. I'm speaking that over my life. And if you start school today, it's gonna be a great semester for you. You got this. <sighs> but yeah, I'ma get back, but I'm about to go to class, y'all. It's 8.22, first day, so I got to pick. I'll be back. All right. Y'all, I am on my way. I'm on my way to Sims. It's like a simulation lab. I was talking a little bit about it. I'm trying to make sure I ain't hit nobody car. I was talking a little bit about it when I first got on here, but it's basically a simulation lab and it's when they basically got like a fake animated baby or whatever. And you just basically have to pick out what's wrong with the room and stuff like that or how you would treat the baby or treat the mother, depending on whatever class it is. And I don't know if it's the Sims per se for med search and for OB. Is it just merged? But yeah, I got some lab today. So the reason why I keep looking, y'all, I'm not used to driving and vlogging just yet. I did get this a while ago, but I haven't been putting it actually into practice like that because I haven't been vlogging for a while. But let's talk. So my first class, y'all, it was okay. Um, 
my teacher is <laughs> she's different she's different she is a wild card she uses her personality while she teaches she doesn't get up there and just give you okay um we're talking about kidneys today she's not like that she is what you know about kidneys i can already tell i gotta come prepared for a class um today is monday and guess when's my first test next monday don't we just love nursing school i have a test next monday and a ne test next wednesday so your girl is flowing and if you did see my first um if you haven't been keeping up with my vlogs and my nursing videos, y'all, this time last semester, I literally, my baby's birthdays, Kiahi and Alana's birthday is in September. So it's like, I gotta plan a birthday party and, which I need to call the bouncy house place so she can have a water slide because she's doing what I'm doing. Y'all know I go big, but the money been looking a little funny lately, so I can't go as big as I want to, but I'm going to go as big as I can for the for Alana. She wants a Little Mermaid birthday. You see how you see how ADHD I am? I literally like think of one thing and then just go, but I'm going to park. I don't want to park over here. It's such a far walk. Y'all, I, I gotta go run and get something to eat though. So yeah, I'm about to go get me something to eat from, I guess it's called the common area, whatever it's called, y'all. I'm gonna get me something to eat. <laughs> y'all, I'm a rear view parker all day. Cause I got a rear view camera. So I know how to park that baby, park my baby right in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in the bookstore, our bookstore only sells like Chick-fil-A and stuff, so it ain't that special. But yeah. Y'all, I got a test Monday and Wednesday of next week. I just started. So that means today, guess what I got to just do? Start studying. She literally didn't have the PowerPoints uploaded. In class, she uploaded them. She was like, y'all got it now? And then she started going over material. Go to nursing school, they say. You'll be able to feed your family, they say. <laughs> I'm finna take this jacket off because it's hot as heck. But I'm finna go in here to get me a little Chick fil A sandwich, even though I know it's not good for me. But that's the thing when your money looking a little funny, you ain't gonna be able to eat as healthy as you want to. I really do not wanna wear that lab coat. It is hot. I knew that lab area was cold, we were in the theater area. So that's why I wore that. It's been so long. I can't find my name tag. I got pants in here if I need it. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go get me something to eat. I'm hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry. Might as well go and grab my stuff. stuff, my stuff. I might come back over here and eat. I gotta change my watch, cause we have to wear a white watch. It said, come with your watch, come with... your stethoscope. It said room 101, so I'm guessing it's a crosshair. It's already 11.30. I don't think she said bandage scissors. She just said. Got my stethoscope. Oh yeah, I upgraded. I, from the last video I seen, I got me the Lipman. Basically. Oh my 
my water is making too much noise. What you got going on? But yeah, let me get my water in here. I put my glasses on so I don't have migraines. I'm looking at computers and stuff all day. I might bring my backpack still. My name tag might be in my backpack. I didn't think that far. Yep, and it's in right in my backpack. My cute little name tag. Look like a fool. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. <laughs> but yeah, today is a day. It's going how it's going to go. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. Um, when I get home, I'm gonna organize my life, so I might share that. But yeah, I'm about to go give me some to eat, y'all. Bye.